Well, hello there, toy collectors. Today we are talking Star Wars. We're talking Star Wars Vintage. Um, and we're talking about 3D printing. Now, the reason why I've gone down this road is because I have been a huge collector all my life for Star Wars figures. And I've been on and off um, over the years. I've had to sell my collections to pay for things, you know, families and stuff. Um, so um, I've collected, sold, collected and sold. And now I'm at that point again where I'm collecting my miniatures again um, and it's a fantastic hobby but it's a super super expensive hobby and many of us can't afford to buy all those rare last 17 miniatures let alone the ordinary ones now a loose loose Star Wars figure here this is the Stormtrooper absolutely beautiful miniature this is the from the first first set of Star Wars figures back in 1977-78 absolutely beautiful now what i do i collect the loose miniatures but i also collect the graded miniatures lots of people don't like the graded miniatures because they're sealed in a container um but personally i absolutely adore them in here you've got the you've got the percentage of the grade of how, how well they look and look and and the the model and the paint work uh, so you get the figure paint and of course it tells you how good the cape is this little yoda here you've got an 80 80 percent um but uh, this this yoda will, will still still cost you maybe up to 200 pounds even at an 80 percent depending uh, on the seller from ebay or whatever um i got some really nice ones here i got an 85 percent ben kenobi um absolutely beautiful you know he's got his, the figure is 85 percent the paint's 85 and the cape is 85 this figure is going to set you back about 200 pounds as well and then we got this one as well for an example this is a 90 percent this is a Darth Vader and it's Lily Leddy. This is from the Mexican, Mexico, Mexico versions of the uh, of the figures from Lily, Lily Leddy. And of course, this could set you back probably up to £500. It's a very expensive and in most cases a rare uh, Darth Vader. Uh, but it's absolutely stunning in mint condition in these beautiful containers. Now, problem we all have is... The average Joe blogs, even myself, we can't afford. We can't afford to buy all these rare miniatures. Uh, we got Borada here. This is from the last seventeen, and another one from the last seventeen. The, these these miniatures, these miniatures are costing you two two hundred pounds loose. Um, it's a very very expensive hobby. So what do we do about it? Well, there's a guy I found uh, called Funky McClunky. Um, I'll give links below my video and you, it goes straight to his um, account. Now he has an account on Cults, which is a 3D printing site. Um, and he sells these 3D prints of all the Star Wars figures. So what he does, he scans the figures and then um, makes them so you're able to put them together, print them out and stick them together. And they're the perfect size. Now, for example, here we have the Stormtrooper again. And... This is the 3D printed Stormtrooper. It's absolutely gorgeous. It even comes with the weapons as well. So what you can actually do is you can buy the Stormtrooper and you can actually print out the weapons because they're exactly the same as the toy weapons. So you've got repro weapons for all your original miniatures that don't have weapons as well. Uh, so it's a fantastic way to complete your collection and at half the cost. Now this Stormtrooper I think cost me £3.80 uh, for the SDL uh, download. So it's cost me £3.80. I can print out as many as I want to. I'm using a Anycubic mono printer. I'm hoping to upgrade my 3D printer in the future but at the minute I'm, st I'm still using the Anycubic, um, Anycubic mono. And it's just there in the background. I don't know if you can see it there. There it is. Anycubic mono. Um, it's an absolutely wonderful printer, and um, it's it's printing out these uh, these prints perfectly. And you, as you can see, they are exactly the same as the original. The only thing that's missing is the tags on the back. You won't find the numbers, uh, the, the dates on the back of these miniatures. But what you're getting is an exact replica 
uh, scanned from the original figure. So I would highly, highly recommend visiting uh, Funky McClunky, <laughs> his, uh, his website, um, on, on cults. Um, I think he's also on Instagram. I'm not on, on I'm not on Instagram, so I, I don't follow him there. But I, I follow him on the cults, and he's got hundreds and hundreds of different um, uh, scans from all the miniatures. You know, he's got size snootles and the Vibo band. He's got all the last seventeen miniatures, um, and they're all three D for three D printed, which is absolutely amazing. So, for example, there we are. Imperial Gunner, anyone? Absolutely. I mean, we're, we're talking. It's under four pounds. Under four pounds a print. Um, so it, it's this this miniature here, for example, Imperial Gunner. It, you, again, you're looking at nearly two hundred pounds if you ha if you buy him loose or graded. It can be a lot more. Um, it, it comes with the original weapon as well. Um, and as you can see, they come out printed perfectly they're very 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 nice um so what what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to start doing a show uh, because i'm a miniature painter of course um i thought to myself well hang on a second i can't afford to buy this miniature graded i can't afford to buy it loose but what i can afford is to buy a 3d print 3d print it and paint it up to get it as close as possible to the actual vintage Star Wars miniatures. So that is my plan. My plan is to start painting these miniatures on show and um, what we'll try to do together is get the original vintage figures uh, 3D printed and painted like they were back in the day. As you can see here, we got Yak Face. And what's I mean, all these miniatures as well. They all they all they got all the movable legs and arms. They even got the holes in the bottom to put the put the uh, peg pegs on, like we got here. We got a blue snaggletooth, the very super rare blue snaggletooth that came with the Sears Cantina, um, and that's the only the only way you could get the blue snaggletooth. And it's a perfect perfect example on a 3D print. Um, I'm just using ordinary. I'm just using ordinary resin, by the way, for my uh, for my printing. Um, but uh, what I'll do is I have one here, and what we can do is we can put it together quickly. Um, I got a Max Rebo. I just I just uh, painted out. So just to show you uh, the actual how these work. Um, so I've printed out Max Rebo. I'm taking off most of the molds now. I've got the head there. Look. So this is the uh, this is Max Rebo, the piano player. Just take him out there. Uh, for the heads, what what uh, what uh, what Funky McClunky has done is uh, done it so all the uh, little um, arms they just clip on, uh, which lets them still move. Um, I can still see there's a little bit of mold in there, so we can just remove that there. Like so. And on this side. And all we do is we just stick in all the uh, printed parts together. One little leg. It's an absolutely genius thing what he's what this guy has done. Um, like I say, he's just scanned the original Star Wars vintage figures and then made them uh, so they all can be stuck together like so. Because what with the original figures, with the original Star Wars figures, of course, um, you have a joint. You have a joint down the side like so. And what happens, the two bodies would stick together in two halves, and then the legs and the arms would be stuck together when the body is, body is stuck together. Uh, so what uh, what Funky McClunky has done, he's made it so you can just add all these parts, uh, like so. And this one goes into the head here, and they just clip in. Like so. Like so, and there you are. And you have a droopy McCall, ready 
to go to Jabba's palace and play with Sai Snootos. Sai Snootles. <laughs> but absolutely wonderful. And of course, you're getting all the weapons as well with all these miniatures. So let me give you an example. This is a original. This is an absolute original Star Wars blaster from my Stormtrooper, which is also used for many other miniatures. And let's take a look at the blaster I printed off. This is the blaster I printed off with the uh, storm with the stormtrooper. It's an absolutely spot-on replica. It's an absolute spot-on replica of the original Star Wars blaster. So even you could actually buy these. Um, you could actually buy these miniatures just to uh, print off all the weapons. So you could have all the reproduction weapons to complete your loose original vintage figures, which I shall be doing. So this is all I wanted to show you for today. It's just a quick little, quick video, but um, I just wanted to say how wonderful these were and give a big, huge shout out to Funky McClunky, who actually does all these uh, 3D prints. Um, and he does for other, other figures as well as um, so take a look at his cults page but what I'll be doing in the future is we shall be painting up these miniatures and I'll be showing you the colors I use I'll be using spray painting and ordinary brushwork as well but we'll try to get these miniatures to look as like they, they are from the vintage vintage collection but what a wonderful way to save money I mean look you've got uh, you've got you've got nearly seven eight hundred pounds of figures here if they were originals so and this this all this has cost me what five ten fifteen cost cost me 25 pounds cost me roughly 25 pounds for these 3d prints from funky mcclunky and um well that's to, to that to me is more affordable i can't afford to buy a yak face yak face is going to cost me 500 600 pound for a low graded one um you're talking nearly a thousand pounds for a very good version of the blue snaggletooth um it's it, we're talking crazy money so if you want to complete your collection i think this could be the way to go i think it's a fantastic idea and they look fab and i think if we can get a good paint job on these miniatures they are going to not look out of place in our collection so i shall be doing um a video maybe once um every two weeks on the vintage painting um, and I hope you join me um, and I will see you in the next one.